Hello friends, in this video, we are going to find the fees of each student in the university called P as you study in C++. We will first write the algorithm and then we will use the algorithm to model our code in C++. So, let's simplify. P as you study University of Ghana charges 1,000 cities for each semester out of credit, 500,000 cities for regular room, 1 million cities for an air-conditioned room, and 500,000 cities for use of academic facilities. All students pay 200,000 cities for matriculation, and graduating students pay 300,000 cities for degree certificate. Devise a computer solution that computes fees that must be paid by each student. A warning message should be displayed if a, if a student is taking more than 21 credit hours and less than 15 credit hours per semester. The inputs per student should be student's ID number, order gates, room type A or R, credit hours, and graduating student's status. And graduating status y or n to the algorithm since we are going to compute the fees of each student in the university we will ask the user to input the total number of students in the university so we see input total number of students now we set a for loop for i equals one to total number of students step one this for loop will run from the first student to the last student Inside the for loop, we ask the student to enter the four digits ID number. So we say input ID number. Now we want to make sure that the student's ID number is a four digit number. So we set a while loop with the condition being that if the user's ID number is not in the range of four digit numbers, that is from 1000 to 9999, then we should ask the student to enter the four digit ID number again. Now, this for loop continues to run until the student enters a four digit number. Outside our for loop, we ask the student to enter the room type. So we say input room type. Also, we ask the student to enter the number of credit hours. So we say input number of credit hours. And lastly, we ask the student to indicate the graduating status. So we say input graduating status. According to the question, a warning message should be displayed if a student is taking more than 21 credit hours and less than 15 credit hours per semester, meaning all students are required to take from 15 to 21 credit hours per semester, from 15 to 21. So we say, if credit hours is greater than or equal to 15 and less than or equal to 21, then from the question, the university charges 1,000 cities for each semester hour of credit. So we see hourly charges for the semester equals 1,000 times the credit hours. Continuing with the question, 500,000 cities for regular room, 1 million cities for an air-conditioned room, and 500,000 cities for use of academic facilities, meaning in spite of your room type, you will still pay for the use of academic facilities. Then you will pay your required room fee as well. So we say if room type is regular, then the facility fee equals regular fee plus the academic facility fee. Else, that is if the room is air conditioned, then the facility fee equals air-conditioned room fee plus the academic facility fee, NF. On the graduating status, according to the question, all students pay 200,000 cities for matriculation and graduating students pay 300,000 cities for degree certificates, meaning in spite of your graduating status, you will still pay the matriculation fee. So we say, if graduating status equals no or n, then graduating fee, graduation fee equals only the matriculation fee. Else, that is if you'll be graduating, then graduation fee equals the, grad, the matriculation fee plus the graduation fee. Now we say n if. From here, we can compute the fees of the students. 
So we say P equals facility fee plus hourly charge plus graduation fee. Now we can display the student's ID and the fee. So we say print student's ID, the ID the student entered, and print fees to pay, the fee we computed. Now we say else, this else goes with the initial if statement, which talked about the credit hours. According to the question, a warning message should be displayed if a student is taking more than 21 credit hours and less than 15 credit hours per semester. So we say print warning invalid credit hours. And if. All right, friends, we are through with the algorithm. Let's take a look at our code in C++. But before that, I will encourage you to pause the, the video, give it a like, and then subscribe. Solid to our code in C++. Because our values are too huge, the computer is going to display our results, that is the fees, in scientific notation. Imagine we are being told to pay 2E plus E Ghana cities, or 2E plus 5 Ghana cities, or 2E plus 6 Ghana cities. It's not recognizable. So to convert this scientific notation back to decimal, we are going to include this IO manip library, which means input output manipulator. Now in my int main function, I declare these guys as double, these guys as integers, and these as characters. Now I ask the computer to display to the user, enter the total number of students, and then the user should enter an integer value for the total number of students. From there, I set my for loop, which is going to run for every student, starting from student i, which is one, to the last student. And each time, the students will be asked to enter the four digits ID number, which should be an integer, the room type, which should be a character R or A, the number of credit hours, which, is, which should also be an integer, and lastly, the graduating status, which must be a character Y or N. Now we set the if statement, which says that if the credit hours is between 15 and 21 inclusive, 15 and 21 hours inclusive, then this block of code should be executed. Else, this warning message should be shown. Something different you might have noticed is the set precision function, which was made possible by the IO manip library which I mentioned earlier. This C out fixed goes with a set precision and the next student goes with a set precision. And the C out end line here will ensure that there is a space between the first student and the second student and the next student and the next consecutive student. So she just leave a space between all of them. To have a better picture of what I'm talking about, let's input some values and run our code. So the total number of students in my university is two. I am my very good friend. I entered my four digits student ID correctly, one, six, seven, eight. My room type is an air conditioned room, so A. My number of credit hours is 18, not too small and not too much. And yes, I'll be graduating. And my fee is two million. If we, had used, if we hadn't used set precision, the fee would have been 2e plus 6 Ghana cities, which isn't much recognized. To student 2, he entered his student's ID wrong, 3 digits instead of 4 digits. He was asked to do it again. He had it wrong again, 5 digits instead of 4 digits. He was asked to do it again, and this time he got it right. Hooray! He's in a regular room, so R, and he's taking 2 credit hours. He doesn't want to graduate, so graduating status is no, which is N. And because of the credit hours, he's having a warning message. All right. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, apart here, anything is possible.